Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another part of the Eyes to Nails series. Um, we weren't really sure what we were gonna do for this look and I'm sorry, but I didn't really use that much ColourPop in this video. Normally in the Eyes to Nails videos, I use basically all ColourPop eyeshadows, um, or at least like those are like the main eyeshadows that I use. And I really only used one eyeshadow and it was just for my lower lash line. Um, but I will have a link to like previous eyes to nails videos and the blog posts and everything like that for you guys um they're pretty easy to find anyways um so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video I love it I love this look so much um I used the reflex teal by mac and it's such like in the bottle it's like oh, whatever but when you put it on it's so pretty like I, I don't know how to explain it but like you can see it for yourself like I oh my god I love it um so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started so the first three eyeshadows I'm going to be taking in my crease are beaches and cream is the first one then you see me taking Sora and then I will be using frappe in my crease um, I do this to define my crease. I find that if I don't do this, my eyeshadow kind of gets lost. Um, because, you know, some people are blessed with a really prominent crease, and that would be my mom. Like, she has an amazing crease, and I, I don't. I, I have my dad's eyes. So, um, <laughs> so I have to define my crease, which isn't that big of a deal, but it's like one extra step. Um, and that was my computer. Um, so yeah, this is what I do every single day if I'm wearing eyeshadow. If I'm not wearing eyeshadow, then I just put on mascara. But, um, uh, mainly using Makeup Geek, and now I make, I'm using Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadows. The first one I'm using is Center Stage on a fluffy brush. I wouldn't recommend using a fluffy brush. I would recommend using a flat shader brush or like a stiff brush because it picks up more product and it helps to pack it on which is what I wanted to do initially but I was kind of terrified that I wasn't gonna like the look so I went in with a fluffy brush um, I'm using center stage and Houdini Houdini I'm putting on now um, I really liked the mix because I didn't want it to be like super neon blue or anything like that and I felt like if I did center stage alone it would be too bright but if you only have center stage or if you only have like a shimmery foiled blue royal blue color that would work because you're basically going to be covering everything with the glitter this is just a base to kind of help the teal kind of pop and bring out the reflex in the glitter um so yeah just blend and it kind of helps to diffuse the um, Sora, which I find is a little bit more pigmented and a little bit on the orange side. Now I'm using Reflex Teal and I sprayed my brush with um, Fix Plus because I didn't have like a glitter base to use. Normally I use like an eyeshadow, um, like a sticky eyeshadow or a sticky like primer or something. Um, and I tried using a primer, like my normal NARS primer, but it just kind of wiped away the eyeshadow, so I wouldn't recommend doing that. Um, now I'm using DTLA from ColourPop. I would highly, highly, highly recommend these eyeliners. They are crazy pigmented, like, and they stay forever too, so totally recommend them. Um, and I'm just blending that out. I'm, I really kept it pretty simple. Um, and now I'm doing my lower lash line. I don't know the color name, but it is by ColourPop. I will have it linked down below for you guys. It's from the new spring collection. And that's it for the lower lash line, really. I'm just taking that same color um, and really making sure that like the lash line is covered. And then I'm taking another um, eyeshadow from the Manny palette. I don't know the name of it. It will be linked down below. So. It is out of stock, I'm sorry. Now I'm just, you know, putting on mascara, doing my eyebrows, and putting on highlight. Now I'm using Max Hip and Happy, and then I'm also, once I fill my lips in, I'm going to take Chi by ColourPop just to line the lips so it kind of gives it like a contoured look. I don't know why I did this. I don't normally do this, but I saw it and I was like, oh, let's do this, because I wanted to like, 
I wanted a bold lip, but at the same time, I was like, no, I really don't want a bold lip. So this is what I came up with. Um, and then I used a Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss and that's it. Okay, so this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. I really love it. Sadly, I have to wipe all of it off because I'm going to an appointment for my face. So I have to take it all off because she's gonna like deep clean my face. So that's great. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm actually, I love going to do that. But um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out 25 Sweet Pea stuff. I will have it linked down below um, for blog posts, Twitter, Instagram, her blog, obviously, um, and her Snapchat um, and her Facebook. <laughs> I don't have Facebook. Um, and I will have all my stuff linked down below, my blog, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that good stuff and I hope you guys enjoyed I think I've said that like five times in this outro sorry um and yeah don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys later bye